The walls of Reverend Jim Arnold's office at the Seaside Wedding Chapel in Little River are filled with pictures of happy couples getting married. Happy opposite-sex couples. As a Christian, Arnold says he's against gay marriage. On the other hand, he believes he should be a witness for Christ to all people. So when it comes to someday performing same-sex weddings, Arnold says he faces a moral dilemma. We're not supposed to judge, and we're not supposed to turn people away. And so that's something I fight with every day. Do we do them or do we not? But Linda Gross, who owns Lover's Lane Weddings in Myrtle Beach, says she'd happily perform same-sex weddings. Gross says she feels she was not put on earth to judge others. Everyone has their own story, their own family values, and I'm here to, to conduct the business. Gross says legal gay marriage would be good for the wedding trade. A study by UCLA's Williams Institute says spending on same-sex wedding arrangements and tourism would add $25 million to South Carolina's economy over three years. It absolutely will open up another segment of business that has been turned down. Reverend Arnold says he gets phone calls every day from people inquiring about same-sex weddings. He's not sure what he'll do if or when those ceremonies become legal. I'll leave it in God's hand and just hopefully I'll do the right thing.